In this video, I'm going to show you how the VMS works. So I'll go over a couple of the key features and how to add device, make groups, and add accounts. So first, to add a device, you go into your device manager. Add, and we'll call this one an NVR. Enter in the IP of the device. Generally, your port will be 8000 as default, but this one I have set up is 8001. Make sure you enter in the username and password. It is case sensitive. In this case, they come admin, and the password will be 12345. Make sure export to group is checked in and add. That you see the serial number has generated, that means it has made a connection to the device. We'll go back into the control panel, check our live view, drop down, you can click and drag over to see the video, or you can hit the play all button down here, it'll import all from this particular group. Now, I can also slide around here, as you can see, and one of the nice things about this program is I can pop this main view out. Create another main view. And I could push this one out to another monitor, pull this one out, push this one out to another monitor, or I can even put it back in. And you can configure the device from the VMS. So you go back into your device manager, remote configuration. This allows you to go through and configure what you would like on the device. This includes creating users. Your alarms and anything else which you might find useful. You see up here in the top right corner I have a nice little CPU level and network level to tell me if if I'm experiencing any problems I can pinpoint on what that problem might be. Camera settings allows me to go into each particular camera and change the settings, the scheduling, and even configure the alarms, with motion, view loss, etc. EMAP is a nice little function where I can import a PNG, JPEG, or bitmap. And from there, I can import the cameras, drop them on the map, and I'll be able to click on them and see live views to where they actually are on, say, a building layout. Remote playback allows you to view your videos. On here you select the date you would like to view from, check in your videos, and hit search. So here I have several playbacks. Now I can synchronize all these by clicking synchronize. It will synchronize all the playbacks. If I unsynchronize, I can choose one playback and play it at a different time while the other ones are still synchronized. You do have some system configurations here where you can choose what files you want to download to where alarms you would like to set for those activities and you can also set up an email alerts the import camera allows you to create other groups and simply by clicking holding control Clicking others, 
I can import them into that group. So this allows you to move all your cameras from one device into one large group. And from there on the main view, I can click play all and all the cameras will show up. Change views down here to which display you would like. And it support, supports up to 64 cameras. You can also create user accounts for who can log in. Let's say John. Just set his password as one through six. We can allow him access to what cameras and what abilities on what cameras.